What's going on guys, it's your average consumer, and today we're gonna be unboxing this guy, the brand new Xbox One S. Now, if you wanna win one of these, you might wanna stick around till the end of this video. Now, this is brand new, and this has got a couple of changes from the regular Xbox One, but let's get into the box and see what you get. So first off, as you can see on the box, uh, you've got the picture of the One S, the controller, uh, and in the back, you've got some typical Xbox characters. You've got the guys from Halo, Gears of War, Forza, and I'm not sure who this is. Could it be Tomb Raider? I think it's Tomb Raider. And on the sides, pretty much a bunch of pictures of the console, but let's get to actually opening this guy. All right, so it looks like we've got some tape. Now I do have my unboxing knife over here. So let's pop this thing open. Boom. Easy enough. We've got a little pamphlet and this is pretty much a quick start guide. So you can look inside here and see how to use all the different things that come inside of the box and hook it up. Something else here. Now what's this? Okay, so with the new Xbox One S, you can actually use a stand. The first Xbox was just way too big to use a TV stand. So now you can stand it up vertically instead of having to leave it flat, which is gonna save a lot of room when you're putting it near your TV or wherever you wanna place it. So this is gonna be pretty cool. I wanna get to the system already. Okay, and here it is, but there's more. So let's see what we've got here. Before we get to the main guy, I'm sure this is where we've got the cables and the controller. So first things first, we've got the HDMI cable. Uh, we've got the new controller, which should be really interesting because they did switch it up a bit. Okay, this is pretty dope. It's got some ridges now in the back so it doesn't slide out your hands when you're playing. I've never really had that issue with my Xbox One controllers. Feels nice nonetheless black and white because this is a white system. This is the color that they've got. Now this I'm excited about because this is the power cable. No giant brick attached. The brick is now internal, so you don't have this big heavy thing uh, sitting next to your console or on your floor. Very good move, Xbox. You should have did this first. Let's get here cleaned up and then we're gonna look at this guy. All right, so here it is, guys. Now, I can already see this thing is so much smaller than the original. Now, for those of you who didn't know, the Xbox One S is 40% smaller, so they almost got it down by half. So that is gonna be a welcome change for anyone who might be upgrading or maybe who wants to get an Xbox One for the first time. You don't have to worry about that space. Boom. Oh, man. That's pretty nice. This is really, really nice. I like this. Uh, the Xbox One is pretty large and unwieldy, but this guy, oh, this is what's up. Now, let's talk about some of the changes we're gonna find on this guy, besides the size. So, first things first, you're gonna notice that it's white. Uh, these are what they all come in right now. All the Xbox One S's come in white. I'm sure there'll be different colors as bundles come out and there's gonna be different versions, whatever. But for now, it's all white. This is the two terabyte model. There's gonna be a one terabyte as well as a 500 gig version coming out shortly. But as of August 2nd, two terabytes is what you're gonna get if you wanna pick it up this early. So some of the changes that you'll see besides the uh, size difference is the new design. Instead of a giant vent with uh, lines going through it, now you've got these tiny circles and a giant circle here so you can let out some of the air uh, for when this guy is on, so it can release some of that hot air. And you've also got a USB port in the front instead of the side, which makes things a lot easier when you wanna plug in like your controller. And you've also got the addition of an IR blaster. And for those of you who don't know what an IR blaster is, you can use your television remote to kind of control this a little bit so you can change channels and do whatever you need to. Now, they add an IR blaster, but in the back, you'll notice that they removed a port for the connect. Ari, isn't that a shame? It's a damn shame. So they took out the connect port, which if you know me and Ari, we are in love with the connect. It's how we use our television. We say Xbox on, yada, yada. 
can't do that right now. But later on, I think in September, they're going to be coming out with an additional adapter so that you can connect, a, uh, so that you can connect the connect. Oh, that's what I was gonna say, it threw me off. So you're gonna be able to connect a connect if you want to, which we definitely will. Now let's take a look at the back. You've got a port for your power plug. You've got your HDMI out, HDMI in, two USB ports, IR out, optical port for your optical cables, and you've also got an ethernet port and a, Ken and a Kensington lock. So if you wanna make sure this guy's secure, you can do that. So now we're pretty familiar with the Xbox One S and what it looks like and what's included. But let's take a look at something that's new and that is the addition of the TV stand. And let's see how we can get this guy attached. So you've got some little holes here at the bottom so you can get this, slide it in. Why are you laughing? <laughs> so you slide it in, hear the click, boom. Your Xbox One is standing up, not a problem. Now, you might be wondering, what are some of the features, what makes it special? Well, besides it being so much smaller, having a slightly different design remote, it also supports 4K and HDR. So about 4K, this doesn't actually do 4K gaming, but you can watch 4K Netflix and other apps that can utilize it. And it also has a 4K Blu-ray player. So if you have one of those 4K Blu-rays, you can pop this in. But of course, you're gonna need a 4K TV. Now, as for HDR, what that means is basically you're gonna get some nicer colors out of your games, uh, movies, all that stuff, higher dynamic range. So if you've got one of those new 4K TVs, like one of Samsung's new SUHD TVs or maybe LG's OLED TVs, there are tons of TVs out there that can utilize it. But this guy can output better picture, higher quality, it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, but I'm excited to go and test this guy out. So that pretty much wraps it up for this unboxing. Hopefully you got a good idea of what the Xbox One S is all about. Now, if you wanna win one of these guys, like I said, I do have a giveaway going on and it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is subscribe, leave a comment down below, and boom, you're pretty much entered to win. I'm gonna be shouting out the winner over on social media, so be sure to check the links down below so you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all that good stuff, so you can find out if you actually won, if you entered. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Till the next video, it's your average consumer. Peace.